Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we will take a look at the elevator basic example. We can see that we have two elevators, a few conveyors. I don't know how basic it is, but let's try to understand it. Here, our task is to transfer item from entry conveyor to exit conveyor through three different levels using the elevators. We can divide the task into three different cases like we did in case of turn table. That is, case one, we move from entry conveyor to elevator conveyor, from elevator conveyor to conveyor 0, from conveyor 0 to elevator conveyor 2. From here, we can go to the exit conveyor. Similarly, case 2 and case 3 can be created with the only difference that we need to move the elevator conveyor to respective floors. When entry conveyor is on, the item or box will start moving towards the elevator conveyor. So, the sensor S1 will detect the pallet, meaning we need to turn on the load actuator at that time. S2 will turn on just a moment after that and it it's like indicating that the box item, whatever you say, it's being loaded but not loaded yet. Okay. When S3 and S2 both are not detecting anything, it means that we have the item perfectly loaded on the elevator conveyor. So, as we need to load the item on conveyor 0, the load actuator will stay on. That means the S3 and S4 sensor both will detect the item. Now, here the, the thing is, all the time, S3 is detecting the item. We need to keep the load actuator on so that the item can be loaded uh, or transferred to conveyor 0 properly. When S4 sensor detects the box, we need to turn on the conveyor 0 actuator so that we can load the item on conveyor 0. So, in this way, we can move item from start to conveyor 0. And similarly, we can do to move item from conveyor 0 to exit conveyor. Okay. After thinking this, uh, let's try to create the logic. As always, I have started with start stop run. Here, I am using the start light output to turn on the entry conveyor. Like as I have divided the program in three different sections or three different cases I am not yet handling the conditions where I need to move box up or bring the box down okay so I am not adding any condition to reset the conveyor right now I will do that later so I turn on the entry conveyor using start light for loading the box on conveyor I am using sensors just like I have explained earlier 